My name is David McGreevy and we're up in East Belfast and I'm a member of East Belfast GA. Uh, so we started eight weeks ago yesterday with a tweet. Um, just texting Richard one morning. Um, we were saying we were chatting the week before about how there's no GA club in East Belfast and both of us live out in East Belfast and I uh, really just sent a tweet out and then within about two hours I had to ring back Richard and be like this is this is exploded um, so we were kind of chatting saying you know we could just walk away from this and no one will ever know it's us but uh, it was kind of like a civic responsibility it was just like look no we can do this here and it's we're in it for the right reasons as well uh, so it really just kind of you know kicked off from there and then we're up to like over the course of the week there was different one's getting in contact. I mean, there was a guy who got in contact, chartered accountant, so I straight on the phone to him. He's like, can you be our treasurer? And there was a guy, he's an MD of a law firm down in, down in town, and uh, straight on the phone to him. He's like, can you be our chair? And just, there's there's different people who've gotten in contact with, like, with great skill sets. I was shocked whenever the numbers started coming in. Uh, myself and Richard McGuire um, were hoping um, to have just an under 12 boys team just get enough numbers get get a team out there next season that hasn't been been the case uh you know it's just absolutely mushroomed and all together it's well we definitely have it'd be close to 400 players now but it's all kind of coming together we're setting up our subcommittees and um we're hoping that there's tons of parents getting in contact they want their kids uh, being coached so we're in the process of setting up the youth uh youth board and getting the youth training going but again we need facilities to get that done um, but like, there's 23 uh, primary schools in East Belfast that I've never had uh, GA in it before, and there's uh, 11 secondary schools as well. So there's actually there's a bit of a task ahead of us to actually get this here right. And that's one thing we've been focused on at the start. We don't want it to be half measured. It has to be right first off, and you know we have the right people in there. Uh, to make sure that, that that's been done and that that's been the case so far as well. I want the ethos of this club to be cross community. That's non-negotiable. Um, you know, there's plenty of communities across East Belfast and I want this uh, club to be about sport and bringing people together. My name's Fanula Boyle and uh, I joined East Belfast Gator Club whenever I seen Dave put out the tweet. I jumped straight on it, so I did, because I thought the more I think about it, I would talk myself out of it. I'm originally from Derry and when I moved to East Belfast, I was looking for a hobby and trying to get out and meet people in my community. So I sent the email and went to my first training session and I haven't looked back since. The girls are great, they're all really encouraging and we've come so, so far, so we have in the last four weeks. I'm really excited about where the club's going and I think it's going to have a long future and I'm, I'm delighted to be involved in the committee as well and helping to organise it. It's nice to see the, the city coming together, especially some so historic in East Belfast. Who would have thought four weeks ago we'd all be standing here now playing, but it's it's been great, so it has. A lot of the girls, um, we even have some from different communities and it's great because it has been branded obviously as cross community and it's great to get everyone involved because at the end of the day it is about the sport and it would be a shame for this part of the city to miss out on such a good sport just because of communities. So I think it's a big step forward for East Belfast, so it is. Uh, my name is Iriel Okada. I'm working with the committee here in East Belfast GA uh, from the inception um, seven weeks ago now. Uh, working currently on club development and committee development and sub committee development within the team and promoting hurling in the underage uh, structures. Um, I got in contact with Dave because I was actually involved in, in six other clubs now at this stage and, and the Irish speaking clubs in Galway City and in Dublin City, Nagai Logan, and Gael and Galiva. I suppose we were given a chance to be involved in setting up a club from the very beginning, having having learned of what went right and what went wrong in other clubs. So um, I couldn't say no, and uh, and it's been great. I suppose we've been focusing on um, general difficulties you'd have in other clubs and cities, and making sure that we were set up to, I suppose, not alone be within the community of East Belfast, but open to people from the outside who are moving to cities. A big problem we have in the GA is that there aren't many clubs available when you move to a new city or a new town. Um, that aren't the old lads who've been involved in the club from the very beginning. I suppose 
doing that and, and keeping sure that those structures are still available so that if you're a new player or you're coming in from the outside and you're a good player that you know you're able to come into the club you're able to participate at every single level you get a match as as, as often as you can has been has been really important but as you can see it's probably trying to keep up and facilitating those demands are the big problem so you know, as Dave was saying, pitches and facilities are a big issue uh, for us at the moment in East Belfast. There aren't many GA pitches, um, and getting used to them is, is something that's uh, problematic. So we're, we're trying our best, and we're, thankfully, you know, the people of East Belfast have been great. The City Council have been great offering as many green pitches as they can. So that's been great, but we are definitely looking for more support. My name is Jenna Laguerre. Um, I'm playing for East Belfast, the Gaelic football. Um, so I started on Saturday, just was my first game. Um, I've got zero experience playing um, and it's been really great so far. Uh, this is my first proper practice today um, and it's been really great. Um, it's a great bunch of girls, uh, really funny coaches, really good time. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying it. I was surprised at how many girls had actually signed up. I think there's about 40 at least here today. So there's always a big turnout um, and it's really great having one that's really close to home as well. So as soon as I saw all this on Twitter actually um, I signed straight up um, it looks like most of the girls here as well find out the same way yeah I come in absolutely petrified but I'm having um, an absolute blast it's really good fun um, and a lot harder than it looks on TV <laughs> my hopes for the future is um, get a pitch <laughs> would be number one now um, there's no GA pitches in East Belfast so I think now that's an issue we'll have to address um, but also with the numbers we're getting with the ladies football and the men's football we, we have enough numbers there for three teams and so I would love it if our um, you know, junior team became the team that you've never played for another uh, GA uh, club before so people that are kind of new to the sport and that's their team and eventually over time with the coaching um, you know, underage and bringing kids through that third team will become our first team and I'd love that county down as well and it's just it's a football county and I think everyone kind of looking at Ulster it needs a bit of a push with Camogie and Hurling so I would love us to be really the, the fuse that kind of gets that going I think that would be fantastic and you know if, if you know, I have big dreams of this air club now but I mean if uh, going by the past eight weeks if the if it actually came through that's that's what I would love for it to be about a big promotion of Camogie and Hurling and uh, you know have a team that are kind of born and bred East Belfast ones playing for the first time.